Previously on Preposterous. It's Christmas time. So and so begat so and so. There's a whole lot of baby making going on. But why did Jesus have a stepdad? Now, Matthew chapter 2, Jesus is born in Bethlehem. The reason that Bethlehem is significant is because it's fulfilling a prophecy in Micah 5 2, where it says the Messiah would come from there. And here in Matthew 2 is where we hear about the three wise men. Well, magi. And really, it doesn't say there were three of them. They came from the east, which means anywhere from current day Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, China. The east covers a pretty big territory. But they came a long way, and they came looking for the newborn king of the Jews. So logically, where is the first place that you would look if you're looking for a king? The palace. They go to the palace in Jerusalem and they ask the current king of the Jews, a not so great guy by the name of Herod, well, where is he? This is all news to Herod, by the way, and not great news to hear. He's the king, and yet he's talking to very wise men who came a very long way to worship the new king. And it's not him. Herod tries tricking them to lead him to Jesus, but what God wants to happen, happens. And God warns the wise men in a dream not to go back and tell Herod. And God sent a bright star to lead these astronomers to Bethlehem, to presumably the barn where Jesus was. They came looking for a king, a savior, the Messiah. They sought him out in the palace, but he wasn't there. Instead, the king of kings, the lord of lords, is laying in a feeding trough in a barn. The world didn't have room for him. And unfortunately, most of the world still doesn't have room for him. God is so much different than we often imagine him. The God who is among us is most often found with the least of these, in the humble places. Jesus was most often found out with people, in the types of people that no one else wanted to be around. That is God. That is Emmanuel. That is the God who is with us. May you seek out God during this Christmas time and may you find him in the most unexpected places. But when you find him, is there room for him in your life? If you like Preposterous, make sure you share it with your friends. That is so helpful. And make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, if you have any questions for me, you can tweet me at I am Preposterous or you can leave it in a comment down below. If you like Preposterous and would like to use it for your small group, you can sign up on our website. Again, the link is down below. I'll leave you with this last line from Charles Wesley. Born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever, now thy gracious kingdom bring. Merry Christmas. God bless. There's a whole lot of babies being making. There's a whole lot of babies being making.